Good morning. Well, it's uh, two nights after the demolition job at Villa Park. Uh, and all I can say is Patrick Bamford, fantastic. First hat-trick in a Leeds United shirt. First hat-trick since Kamari against Queen's Park Rangers. Tenth hat-trick of the Premier League era for Leeds United. And after all the goading that a certain Gabby Agbonlahor did on social media uh, during the week, I think it's just desserts. I thought Leeds took up a lot of pressure up in the first half. Uh, Pascal Strike, probably quite lucky to still be on the pitch, to be honest with you. Uh, but Marcello Bielsa got it absolutely spot on with the substitution with Jamie Shackleton and, and Leeds went from strength to strength there. He could have had a couple of goals in the first half. Uh, could Bamford, but what a performance second half. The goals were absolutely magnificent, the second one in particular. And it's kind of the perfect way to bounce back after the disappointment home to Wolves in a game we probably just got a little bit of a footballing lesson. But yeah, great, great start to the season. Look, we've got six games in, we've got ten points, uh, and you can't really ask for anything more than that. I thought man to man on, on, on Friday night, Leeds are absolutely superb. Uh, and they just go from strength to strength, and they've got an opportunity against Leicester City. I think I've got a, a Europa League Cup tie uh, on Thursday night, so we don't play until uh, a week on Monday, a week tomorrow. So yeah, it's all going rather, rather well. And uh, I know Bam Bamford had his sort of critics leading up to the Premier League. He's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, and he's taken his goals superbly well. And he's got six goals in, in, in his first six games. Uh, and only uh, a certain Eric Cantona has done that in, in the past for Leeds United. So yeah, all goes well. Uh, and I think we're all very much looking forward to the Leicester game a week tomorrow. So another opportunity for Leeds to keep climbing the table. I think it's also a case of just getting that first 40 points. I look, I don't think we're in any danger of getting, getting relegated or being in relegation scrap, but it's always important to get that as a first target. So, yeah, very, very enjoyable. Uh, we'll have a nice week in training, I'm sure. All the players have been absolutely fantastic. And uh, we'll move on to uh, the tie against Leicester City a week on Monday. Brendan Rodgers at Allen Road. Wow, what a great result that was for Leeds. Absolutely fantastic. An absolute masterclass, in my opinion, shown from Leeds United. Um, reflecting on a 3-0 win against Aston Villa. Well, where do I start? Patrick Bamford. Well done, sir. Every Leeds United fan will give you a huge pat on the back for that. Um, three fantastic goals. Three really well-worked goals as well. And the quality from those three finishes was absolutely fantastic. Um, Pick of the bunch for me has got to be the third one. The way he could use his feet and just find that top corner was absolutely fantastic. So well done, Patrick Bamford. And I know you do get a lot of stick from fans, but I have to say, not from me. Um, really impressed with, with how Leeds handled the game as well. We, we, we controlled the game throughout, in my opinion. Um, we worked really, really hard. Um, a Stroke of genius from Marcelo Bielsa as well, taking Surik off just in the at the halfway point in the in the first half, um, and I think when Jamie Shackleton come on, I think he did really well. He 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 found his feet. You know he was confident with what he was doing, and some of the passing was fantastic. Um, also. Really impressed that we kept Grealish and Ollie Watkins very very quiet. Um, we knew what Ollie Watkins was in the Championship. We knew his dangers. We controlled him. We kept him very, very quiet along with Jack Grealish as well. Jack Grealish who? Um, so other than that, delighted with the three points, Leeds. Um, great performance. We're uh, in the Champions League spots. I'm planning the Europa League already. I'm getting on Skyscan. I'm finding out where I'm going to be going. But let's take a step back. It's good that we're top of the league. We're at the top half of the division where we should be. But actually, we only need 10 more wins. 10 more wins, get to that magic 40-point mark. And then we can start planning where we're going to go. But let's move on to Leicester and hope we get another three points. Morning, Leeds fans. That performance uh, was probably one of the best performances I've seen us play um, under Bielsa. Which is a massive statement, I realise, but I don't think there was one player on the pitch who didn't, who wasn't brilliant. We were incredible all over the pitch. Uh, Dallas was unbelievable on the ball. Ailing, you can, he is so versatile, um, which I think Bielsa has brought that quality out of a few players. Obviously, Dallas being top of the list on that one. But I mean, our passing was just ridiculous. Um, Rodrigo, although many people said he wasn't going to score a lot of goals anyway, I think he's doing now what he's in the team to do. Um, his his uh, interlinking play, his passing range is just unbelievable. Um, and I think in on that basis, we probably are not going to see a lot of Tyler Roberts now, um, providing uh, Rodrigo stays fit. 
Uh, obviously, we're going to have to mention um, Patrick Bamford, who's was so ridiculously clinical. Um, the second goal was ridiculous. Um, like, I mean, they, I think they said it took a deflection. Um, it looked like it did, um, but it didn't. It was just a, a swerve and... It, it was unbelievable. I, I think he surprised most Leeds fans um, with how clinical he was. I mean, he's good. He's he's been brilliant for us for for a long time, de- defensively and um, his work rate. But you know, I think at times, obviously, his finishing has not been there. But he put that to bed. And what was most pleasing about this is, I think, we all wanted to beat Villa. Uh, they have obviously created this this rivalry that isn't really there. Um, and Dean Smith and John Terry's faces are both really annoying. Um, so it was great to uh, get one on Villa. Um, you know, I think they were probably just getting a bit ahead of themselves. But I think our football's doing the talking, and I think it will for the rest of the season. And uh, we're going to beat a few teams like that this year. Um, and long may it continue. Hi, Max. Who's your favourite Leeds United player? Patrick Bamford. And how many goals did he score last night? Three. Was that good? Yeah, awesome. Was it awesome? Yeah. Is he the best player? Yeah. It was last night, wasn't he? Yeah. What a superb game of football. Um, what does one say? We are getting quite interesting comments on the internet about our team being on steroids because they're so quick and how Bielsa is going to be found out. And... Um, I think some people need to eat their words today because last night just proves what a great team we are. And I've got a very, a very happy grandson here who is Patrick Bamford's number one fan. And we've watched the goals this morning, haven't we? And what did we think? Awesome. Awesome. All of them? Yeah. Which was your favourite? Uh, I think all of them. All of them? I think, Patrick, you've done really well. You've done us proud. Can't wait for the Leicester game. Bring it on. So we're a myth and are we, Miss Sack Bongo? <laughs> you know, it's, those sort of comments are always going to come back to bite you, you know, when you you know when you say silly things like that. Um, you know, and, and we, we didn't look like losing that game at all. It was a brilliant result. You know, Hattrick Bamford getting on there, first hat-trick for us, uh, first Premier League hat-trick for him as well. But we were great. Uh, in that game, just we controlled it. I felt a few nervy moments at the back, uh, but overall, I thought to say it was a makeshift back four. I thought all across, all across there, they did great. Alioski, really nice link up play with Harrison down the left. I thought he was brilliant. Uh, Aileen and Cock, fantastic at centre back, and Dallas was his usual uh, self, just on another, you know, on the other wing. So it was. Brilliant defensively performance. Melier played his part as well, made some important mm-hmm. saves, uh, you know, and kept us in the game at nil nil. Um, but yeah, just I felt like I predicted this game to be five one to Leeds. I was serious when I made that prediction. I just felt that Villa would run out of steam and that would we would kind of run them a bit ragged. And it obviously didn't get five. But we could have had five. In that second half, we were just all over them. I thought Harrison was fantastic on, on the left wing. Um, you know, although I will say his end product just needs to be that little bit sharper, I think. But overall, he had a great game. I felt like Costa as well had a, had a good game on the other wing. And that second half was just... We just destroyed them, didn't we? We could have had any number of goals, like, say, given if our you know, passing or final decision-making was that little bit better. But three goals will do me. It was a great win. Patrick Bamford, like I say, hat-trick, you know, he took his goals magnificently well. Um, you know, and again, it was we saw that kind of tactical genius of Bielsa, you know, bringing off uh, strike. Uh, obviously, we could see he may have got a red card in that game. Uh, with it being so early on, he got the yellow. He was flying into tackles and um, he played well, I thought, in those sort of 20 odd minutes. But, you know, it was the right decision to take him off, uh, you know, with the likes of Grealish and Douglas Luiz, who seemed to be fabricating uh, a lot of the fouls. He, he might have got a red card. So it was it was good tactically from Bielsa and a fantastic display all round. You know, 
made up for, for Bamford's against Hattrick. Bring on Leicester next one. You know, we're looking really good. So marching on together, everyone. I'll see you all later.